Today we're going to find something out. I am um, I recently bought something that I've wanted for a long time. A wedge type tool post. I've had this piston type tool post on my lathe probably since about a week after I got it which was about oh man 20 years ago maybe even longer uh, you know I bought this thing it was on sale at Anco phase 2 um, yeah I really hadn't researched what exactly you know the tool holder options were and so you know in the cheap bastard that I am I picked the cheapest one the piston um, it served me well I've had relatively you know hardly any issues with it other than repeatability and accuracy um, so what basically happened is I was looking for some new tool holders and uh, you know I had I don't know probably a hundred bucks worth of them in my shopping cart at Enco and uh, I looked and I saw that for 140 bucks or 148 bucks whatever it was that you could get the complete AXA tool set tool kit whatever they call it um, so yeah for 40 bucks you know I picked this up and you know got got another boring bar holder got you know some some uh, regular I don't know what you call them regular tool holders uh, I got another facing tool, knurling tool, knurling, I, I don't use those at all anyway, so. But, but you know, I, I did, I basically got this thing, you know, after the 20% off and all that stuff, free shipping. This thing cost me 40 bucks. And it's phase two. It's nice. I mean, they, the fit on it is nice. Um, uh, I'll say that like anything from China that you get it's basically a kit of parts when I got this thing it felt horrible and what I found out after I took it all apart is that number one there wasn't any lube in it and number two the lube was sand <laughs> I don't know what what they did. They it doesn't look cast. It looks machined. So I don't know how they get sand in the thing, but but uh, it was full of sand. Maybe grinding dust. Maybe that's what it was. But in any case, I completely took it apart. I cleaned it thoroughly. I lubricated it with super lube. Put it all back together, and now the thing feels wonderful. So what I figured I'd do here is mount each of them on my lathe and prove what most people know already is that the wedge tool post is better than the piston get what you pay for so um yeah I'll set up the camera over at the lathe and we'll set up some dial indicators on the thing and you know make some measurements okay here we are at the lathe I've got my piston tool holder mounted in the crawl in the uh the compound i've got a tool bit stuck in there sticking out about an inch and a half i you know with an axa you really don't probably want to stick it out too much farther so i figure that's probably a good fair test and um you know we'll see uh we'll see what's going on here let me So there's the setup. Hope you can see that. I don't want to really move the camera at this point. 
Okay. So you can see it's you know it's moving pretty good. So we're getting, you know, pretty good move there. Um, let me try something else here so we can try to see what the repeatability is. Hang on, right, maybe this is a little better. What I've done here is put it underneath the tool bit and, uh, Come on. Okay, so now I can take the tool holder on and off. I'm gonna look at the dial indicator. Now this would just be in the vertical plane here. Um, but it's also gonna be in the tilt plane too, which is the problem with this thing. So, it's loose all the way. Take it off, put it back on. So, I guess that's pretty, you know, aside from the initial, this is off, you know, tension off, tension on. But it's not too bad. Can't see the, the screen from here, but, you know, two, three thousandths of shift here. And then, uh, you know, the, the annoying thing about this is when you're trying to get the tool on center, you know, you loosen it up, it shifts, you, you dick with the knob, you put it back, it comes back. It's a trial and error process. Um, so it's kind of annoying. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's like anything else, you know, if you don't want to be annoyed, pay some money. So um, let me put it on the side here and then we'll take a look and see what okay, that looks like. Okay, now I got like. the indicator on the side of it in line with the uh, the bed and uh, I mean you can you can really see the shift there that's that shift in 8,000, 7,000 something like that so I mean it, it, you know it's repeatable once the piston comes out it, it finds the same spot within like you know a thou or so but let's take a look at the wedge type and see how that thing looks. Okay, here we go with uh, the wedge type. Same exact setup as the last one. You know, we get the same bolt in there, the same tool holder, the same bit, the same indicator. The only thing I changed was the tool post itself. So let's see what happens here. That's full on. It's full off. It's not moving at all in that plane whatsoever that I can tell. Let's try it. Uh, let's try it in the vertical. Okay, so let's zero it. Okay, here we go. Off, on, off, on. And I'm reefing on this thing too. So, based on that, I'm happy with the wedge over the uh, the piston. Piston's not a deal breaker. Um, like I said, I had one for you know probably 20 years. Um, my lathe came. Let me zoom this out again here. My lathe came with one of these, which was all right until I started doing stuff where I needed four, more than four tools, and then all of a sudden it became a huge issue. And that's when I bought the, uh, the quick change. 
right, back on the air. Um, based on those measurements, you know, I'd say wait until you can find something on sale and buy it by the wedge. Um, you know, like I said, the difference between the prices when they're on sale is is really not that much, but but boy, I mean, you know, repeatability wise, they're both pretty good. I mean, the piston one was a, within a couple thou. Um, the wedge, you know, you saw it. So, um, you know, hope uh, hope if you're contemplating buying a tool post for your lathe that uh, you go with uh, the wedge. Now, the other thing I will say is my my lathe right here is uh, it's got a 12 inch swing, and I'm using an AXA tooling system. Which, you know, it works for me good, you know, uh, I can get on center no problem with all the stuff and, and I'm happy with it. The only issue is, is if I was going to do this again, um, I would go with the B, the BXA, for the simple reason that you can put more tooling in it. Um, the AXA stuff is limited to half inch tool bits and there's really not a lot out there. You know, you can get the basic TT style like I have, um, but, you know, it's, when you get up to the BXA, you can start getting a whole lot more tool holders. Um, you know, like, for example, um, I'd love to be using Trigon bits here just because of the selection of them, but, uh, you know, <laughs> Trigon bit holders for AXA, you know, half inch shank stuff is non existent. Um, Travers sells one, um, but you know, when you get up to the BXA, there's like so many more options. So, you know, the only reason why I went with the AXA tool post here when I just bought this thing is because I already had, you know, seven or eight AXA tool holders and I didn't want to trash them. And I already have my tooling is set up for, you know, AXA, I've, I've got everything I've got is half inch, it fits it, so, you know, I wasn't about to change it, but if you're contemplating, you know, tooling up a lathe for the first time, you know, a 12 inch or, you know, something like that, um, you know, when you look at the, at the literature, AXA is good up to 12 and B starts at 12, so if you have a 12 inch lathe, you're right on the line. Um, I'd go with the B. That's just my uh, my opinion based on on what I've been doing here. You know, whether your lathe is rigid enough to handle that kind of stuff, you know, may or may not be the case. But um, you know, just for the tooling options that you can get with the B, um, you know, I definitely consider it. So um, you know, that's it. I hope you guys uh, found this uh, information helpful. Um, I'm going to put my piston type tool post uh, away in a box. Um, you know, who knows what I'm going to do with it. You know, maybe I'll mount it on the back of the cross slide and have a rear facing, a rear mounted tool post. Um, my lead has a threaded chuck on it, so <laughs> I don't know about that. But, uh, you know, I'm sticking with the wedge. I, I'm, I'm happy I got it for 40, 40 or 48 bucks, whatever the delta was. Uh, it was well worth it. And, I, you know, I, I got to say, I think I got my money's worth out of the piston one. You know, even if I paid 150 bucks for the thing, which I don't even remember what I paid for it. Um, you know, 15 years, it's cost me 10 bucks a year. So I got my, I got my money's worth out of it. I'm happy. And, uh, you know, we got the wedge now. So, you know, that's a good thing. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.